90 Day Fianza, Happily Ever After Star Michael al Sami was not ready to share his location out of fear of Angela Deem knowing where he lives, but things have changed now. Michael came to the U.S. from Nigeria in December 2023. Michael lived in Hazelhurst, Georgia for about two months until he went to New York to film the happily ever after season 8 tell-all, and Angela embarrassed him by claiming she was going to take her visa back. Michael went back to Georgia with Angela but left without telling her, with just a backpack and a burner phone. However, Michael's recent Instagram stories showed him confirming where he lives now. Michael posted a video of him walking down a street at night. He consciously avoided posting any pictures that would have given away his location so far. This time, Michael zoomed in on a T-Mobile Experience store and later showed his fans the outside area of Postino Wine Cave. The rustic industrial wine cave serves a variety of wines and snacks, like charcuterie boards and bruschetta. Michael was outside the South Lake outlet in Texas. He later posted pictures of the food and drinks he had ordered during dinner with friends. Michael had been gone for three days when Angela decided to announce his disappearance on social media. She had already contacted the police and was trying to offer $10,000 to fans who could reveal Michael's whereabouts to her. Michael decided to get in touch with the police himself after Angela claimed he was missing. He told them he had run away because he feared for his life. He told them to not let Angela know about his location. Ever since, there have been many theories about where Michael could have been living. Some fans speculated that Michael was living with Co. Blaze. However, Michael soon started appearing in fan photos. He didn't refuse when fans approached their favorite reality TV star for a picture. Most of these photos were taken in Texas, which confirmed that was where Michael was hiding. Michael, now openly revealing where he lives, suggests he's not scared of Angela anymore. He is hired a PR agency that has taken charge of representing him until his matter with Angela goes to court. Michael is also boldly accusing Angela of trying to shut down his GoFundMe. Michael took the help of a PR agency to address some rumors about him. He was accused of using his GoFundMe money to buy himself a Mercedes. He revealed that these rumors were untrue. Michael further revealed that someone had reported his fundraising account and suggested it was fraud. The GoFundMe team told Michael it was someone from Hazelhurst, Georgia. Michael insinuated it was Angela. Angela's petty behavior meant that she could have even shown up outside Michael's door if she had known where he was living. Michael was just being cautious by not revealing his location. Michael had yet to reveal who he is living with in Texas. He shared vague videos of him playing soccer with his friends, or even celebrating the 4th of July with those men. Michael's friends could be the people he knew from his WhatsApp group, where he provided visa advice to them. Michael insists he doesn't have a girlfriend yet, so it seems he hasn't moved into any woman's house since dumping Angela. The 90-day fiancé, happily ever after. Star is taking things slow as he chats with other women and flirts with them without any commitment.